Welcome back to the Wednesday Q&A. And this highly glorious garment will soon be avail available. It's my official clothing line. Uh, more um, information about that when I actually open the web shupa. Quite uh, content with this design. Also have the um, other designs coming up as well, which I will show you when I actually announce it. I just want to have this on today. But either way, welcome back to the Wednesday Q&A. Now the first question I've gotten a good few times, and that is regarding immortality, afterlife, etc. And now my approach here is the scientific one, the genetic one as it were, and that is that you are being reborn in your children. Because you are your ancestor, you are the DNA of your ancestry, you are the genetics of your ancestors, and likewise you will um, be reborn as it were in your children basically your dna passes through into them so that is your afterlife and that is your immortality as it were and when you realize this it becomes much more easy to realize the virtues of nationalism and the virtues of um, you know emphasizing a strong family culture so if you take the scientific approach uh, nationalism actually makes a good bit of sense uh, that you know you have the you have inherited your land from your ancestors and you have inherited their hard work as it were and also you have to make them proud because they have worked hard for you so you have to work hard for your coming generations as it were so that is my view regarding that for norms looking uh, juicy and this and hair looking good as well it's a good day true friends second question what did you buy in tesco um, true friend actually saw me in Tesco. I bought some frozen veg primarily and some milk as well. Is it ironic or contradictory that I'm a Mexican and I agree with pretty much everything you say? Uh, no, not at all. Let me elaborate a bit on that. I think that most Mexicans would actually agree with most things I say. Now, keep in mind that yes, there are there is a huge problem in America with illegal immigration. However, the Mexican people, like the sound part, obviously they have a huge problem with the criminality and drug abuse and everything like that. But the sound part of the Mexican people are actually quite fucking glorious people, to be honest. Like they have a strong family culture, a strong identitarian culture, and you know, a good sense of masculine and feminine, in addition to a very good work ethic. So, I mean, Mexicans are quite glorious indeed if you look at those sort of aspects of it. With that said, I don't say that uh, you know America should be overrun with Mexicans, but the good parts of Mexicans would actually agree with a lot of what I say and I have great respect for the good Mexicans as it were. Do you worship the gods as actual deities or do you or just symbolic to the elements such as strength, knowledge, etc.? For me it's all about um viewing them as guidance in life. So if I'm worshipping Thor, I'm doing it in the Temple of Iron. If I'm worshipping the All Father, Odin, I do it via progressing in my intellectual game. So I see it more as models of life, not deities per se. So that is basically my stance towards the gods. I see them as role models rather than you know almighty deities that you have to subject yourself to because that is not worthy of a, of a free man and that's also one of one of the problems they have with uh, Christianity, Islam and uh, Judaism you know the subjugation towards the almighty God whereas uh, my God the All Father and um, Thor are more like you know motivations to push yourself will you grow your beard again and that True friends, is the question I will leave with you right now before I end this video. Um, November is coming up. I actually have a bit of a Witcher stubble. By the way, I will probably not do a Witcher 3 Let's Play because my computer isn't really good enough to play it on good graphics. And uh, from what I've heard, it might be worth the wait to when I have a better computer to play it. But yeah, comment below. Beard, yes or no? And who am I? I'm the chosen of Kohulan, XXO. Boom! And you know what I always talk about when you game and then you find the motivation to explore something in real life? The building over there looks exactly like something out of one of the cities in Oblivion. I don't remember which now. But yes, one of the middle cities. So uh, really cool stuff to see. 
awesome buildings like that when you're out and about exploring some and obviously doing some cardio as well. What are we doing there, brother? We're waiting for dear Anna to finish her work interview. Meanwhile, I'm frolicking in the sun. Nice. Trying to get some more tan in my, in my body to look good.